Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is where I have to pause and explain a few things to a few people. There are those in this nation today who would have called those brave men fools. Seventy-seven farmers, boys, shopkeepers, tavern owners, none of them schooled in the art of military maneuver. Seventy-seven only to face the might of the greatest army that ever existed upon the face of the earth. An army that had conquered most of the known world. An army that represented, in fact, not a kingdom, but an empire. An army made up of veterans of many wars in many places. Troops drilled, trained, who had stood the test of battle. And these 77 men of humble origin who valued freedom more than their lives, formed up on the green at Lexington to face an army that they knew they could not defeat or stop. Every man, every boy knew that. There are those in this nation today who tell me and others who are taking the same stand that those 77 men took back then. They tell us that we're fools, that it's not worth it, that we should not risk our lives. They would have told those men the same things, would have tried to convince them to go home would have told them that it is more important to be with your family than to stand on this green and risk certain death. But those men knew something that all of these people who repeat this foolish message have never learned in their lives. If you are not free, you cannot have your family, you cannot have your religion, you cannot have the safety and security of your home. Freedom is the most valuable possession that any man or woman can ever have. Freedom is the ultimate achievement of all humankind, and until this nation was created, no people in this world, ever in the history of the world, had ever possessed it, not even for a second. The men who assembled on Lexington Green understood that you cannot be free, you cannot have freedom, you cannot have safety and security for your family, for your children, and their children, and their children, what they call their posterity, unless you are willing to die for it. They set the example for all of us. And that's the reason you're listening to this broadcast tonight. That's the reason I'm delivering this history to you, because most Americans have forgotten it or never knew it to begin with. If those 77 men had not stood on the green at Lexington, we most probably would not be here today. This history of our country, the glorious history of the United States of America, would never have materialized. Most of our ancestors would have been in different places at different times, would have married different people, and most of us today probably would not even exist. And we certainly would never have had the opportunities or the freedom throughout the history of this nation that these brave men gave to us. Can you imagine how much courage it took to run out poorly equipped poorly trained if they had any training at all with a musket a few lead balls a flask of powder to stand 
and face the greatest, most experienced, most well-trained army that existed in the world at that time. There are people who tell us today that the odds we face are insurmountable, that we will be chased and hunted down by the most powerful army on the face of the earth today. And yet we know in our hearts that we can beat them because we are willing to die for freedom. No one is willing to die for the United Nations. No one. In the words of a later historian, deeply infused with a sense of the significance of what those 77 men did, he said, and I quote, They stood there, not merely as soldiers, but as citizens, nay, almost as statesmen, having the destiny of the country in their hands. End quote. 